Welcome back yet again to the Boost My Mind podcast, five minutes or less, seven days a week. Think of it as a mindset workout, mental workout, little mindset reset, get you clicked in, plugged in. The exact podcast that I wish I would have had when I got into a business to keep me plugged in. Like, don't make no mistake about this. This is a emotional, mental, spiritual warfare that you go into every single day. You decide to keep stepping back into your business or into your life, bettering your life in every account. And to not talk about it every single day is a grave mistake. If you think tactics and strategy is going to solve all your problems, you're highly mistaken. I wish I would have known that and I wish I would have been listening to this podcast when I first started out. Today, I want to give you a challenge. It's going to be fairly quick. Seven days of gratitude. I don't care if this takes you an extra hour per day. You know me, probably a third of these episodes are all about gratitude or at least getting into a state or a feeling or a vibration of gratitude for what you have and for what's coming or your life and for what's to come and for what and your past and everything that made you you. Everything that gave you strength and courage, everything that you're currently learning, every challenge, every obstacle that you're going through that is making you a better person, everything you've created and everything you are to create. Gratitude. Not a intellectual type of gratitude. I'm grateful for this. I'm grateful for this mic. I'm grateful for this computer. I'm grateful for this place. I'm grateful for my bank account. It's like, okay, great. Are you actually grateful? Because I didn't see you get that excited about it. An actual feeling. That's what, that's the game to me. And I refuse to start the day, even today, I refused to start today. It took me about 20 minutes today to get into such a high vibration, a high frequency, a high state where I was just beaming with gratitude for the smallest things and the biggest things in my life. And then I start my day. I'll ask you this, how much of a better creator will you be? Of an artist, of a coach, of a speaker, of an author, of a business person, how much more open will you be to finding solutions to your problems, creative solutions, maybe no one else thought of? Yet you think of it, you catch the thought, you're open to it. And ever since I really started doing this, it's like, yeah, people at like, I've been on so many podcasts where people are like, okay, yeah, I get that. You say gratitude was like the biggest thing that helped you take your business three, four, five times growth in a single two years. But what, what, what about the tactics or strategies? And I'm like, sure, we could talk about that. We could talk about paid traffic, the way we did our content. But none of that would have been possible if I wasn't vibing up here. Like buzzing. My ability to generate energy on demand. None of that would have happened. We're bombarded by tactics. And this is why I talk about this so much. And I, I've had this before. Like, dude, you talk about gratitude too much. It's that important. Take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. So I want to give you a challenge. Seven days of gratitude. Every single morning, you will not start the day. If you choose to do this, you won't start the day without getting into an insane state of gratitude. Some pro tips here. I usually, I don't do it in bed because I'll just want to fall asleep or I just, I'm lazy about it. I'll get out of bed at 5.30, 6 a.m., whatever time you wake up. I'll go, I'll move around. Usually I go move my body. I'll go for a walk for 15 minutes, get my body woken up. Once the body is dealt with, then I deal with the mind, then I deal with the spirit, then I deal with the soul, and I'll do five or ten minutes of gratitude. I'll sit there with my eyes closed. Sometimes I'll visualize. Sometimes I'll go through a guided gratitude meditation. You can find a ton of them on YouTube or wherever your platform you want to find them on. Uh, sometimes I do the gratitude exercise while walking. So I'll walk for 10, 15 minutes, wake the body up, and then I'll go for 10 minutes where I'm just thinking and turning that thought into a feeling of everything I'm grateful for. It's oftentimes the smallest of things as well. It's oftentimes the smallest of things like the sun's just right. The clouds are just right. Someone or something in my life, something that was said, an email that was sent that was kind or that was, that was um, thankful. Sometimes this is the simplest of things of like the overwhelming joy or the idea that I get to wake up and work off a computer wherever I want in the world and serve people. Like when that actually hits me, I'm just like, woof. Like this is unreal. And when I do get into the office or when I do get on the computer or when I do work with clients, my cup is full. I have so much to give. I start serving from the overflow and not trying to fight through anything. I challenge you seven days. Create a little calendar, put it in your alarm every morning. Discipline yourself to not start work without doing this. 
I know work can be addictive and it's the easy way out, but don't start work without doing this. Try it for seven days. Prove me wrong. If nothing changes in your life, if you don't get more clients or more cash or more opportunities or more of your problems solved after doing this for seven days, actually doing it, then you can email me, tell me I'm wrong, and I'll remove these. I'll literally remove these episodes off the internet. If you actually do this, it'll better your life in every account. I promise you that. For more, www.lucasrubix.com forward slash boost. This episode is available on all major platforms, so pick your favorite one. Subscribe to it. You can find all the links at lucasrubix.com forward slash boost. Really appreciate you. If you've enjoyed this, subscribe to it. Like it. Let me know what you think. And with that said, I'll see you in tomorrow's episode.